What is up guys, it's Wolfie here and welcome back to the channel. We're back in Grounded and today we're going to be checking out some of the items that you can create from killing the new spiders in the game. I'm really excited for this. I haven't taken on the spiders yet, but I do know that some of them are in that really creepy cave that I wanted to check out. That underwater cavern that's just down that way. So to do that, we need to do a few things first. The main thing is to create one of the slime lanterns. Now... I don't know how we can make those, but I think we make them on this workbench here. Let me have a quick look. Yeah, there it is. So slime lantern. So offline, I collected a few more bits. So I've now got enough to make the slime lantern. So let's craft that one. I do think it looks really cool, actually. So let me switch that out on my tab. So that's my slime lantern there. So it's now number five. Okay, so it's like an underwater lamp. It gives, kind of gives that green slime look to it. I hope it lasts long enough because we're going to be heading down into that dark area pretty soon. Now, the other bit of gear I wanted to check out was the Bone Dagger and the Bone Trident. Both of these we need to kill the Diving Belt Spider for. So, we need a few of these pieces. We actually need three, I think. Yes, yeah, so we need three Diving, spell, uh, diving Bell Spider Chunks. And we also need more of these sunken bones. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to go out to collect these sunken bones first. And then if I end up bumping into one of those diving spell spiders. I really, I'm really, i struggling to say that. So if I bump into one of those spiders. Um, then I will probably try to kill it. And then we can obviously see how good. One this spear is. Because I've really not tried this spear out yet. Uh, I'm actually going to swap out for that in my diving knife. Oh, I uh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, wait, hang on. What am I doing? Yeah, there we go. Right, so I've swapped out uh, for having my spear. Oh, God. I didn't even see him. How did I not even see him? He's massive. So I've got my spear, my spider fang dagger, and that should hopefully be enough to take these guys on. Now, I think they've still got a mechanic in the game where it's too slow, the mint mallet, etc., to attack underwater. So, I feel like we're going to have to use, as much as we can, the quicker weapons to kill these spiders. I think the secret entrance is down this way somewhere, so I'm just going to head down and see if I can find it. Because what I want to do is I want to head to that cave system. God, it's really murky. I swear it wasn't this murky last time. Maybe it's just the time of day. It's just struggling to load in. I'm not seeing... Oh, there is a spider there. I'll, av I'll avoid that one for now. That's one over there as well. Well, if one of them definitely goes to attack me, I will I will attack it. I'm trying to find this, uh, this secret entrance that I came out of last time from the lab. Oh, I see a light. I'm really hoping that is the entrance just down here. It looks like it might be. So it's just past... I thought it was the other side of the dome, so it is just past the dome there. So let's head into the secret underwater lab. And then we'll head out the bottom of it to go into that big cave. I think that's probably the easiest way into it that I can see anyway. Alright. So this is the bottom of that lab there. Uh, luckily I'm not seeing a koi fish, which is good, uh, because last time there was a koi in here and that didn't go too well. So I wonder how well this lantern actually lights up the area. Okay, I'm not, oh, is there like a, what is that, like a little bracket? So, oh, okay, so we are going to find some extra things down here, which is really good. I'll switch out the bow because I definitely don't need that. And I'll gather some of these resources whilst I'm around here anyway. Uh, uh, that was a bit of a bug. Uh, where, where, did the, where did that go? That's super annoying. I really hope this uh, lantern actually does last a while. So this is that creepy cave that uh, I was looking at. But I'm not seeing those spiders this time. This lantern is not that great. It gives a little bit of light. But not as much as I'd like. Oh, yes. One of those fangs. Uh, those bones, I think it is. Yeah, sunken bone. There it is. 
And another one of these fish scales. I may as well gather it whilst I'm down here. There we go. Right, there is definitely more sunken bones and fish scales down here. There's, there's another one here. So I'm going to go get some oxygen. And then I'm going to head back into this cave. I really don't like being underwater like this. Especially with how dark it is. The lantern's not giving me a massive amount of light down here. It's giving me some, but not really enough that uh, I can uh, see out into the darkness, which is what I was really hoping for, to be honest with you. Right, back into the cave we go. There is another another fish scale dust down here. Oh, I dropped my, uh, dropped my light. Wrong tool. There we go. Right, let's get this scale. Okay. I want to see where these spiders are in here as well. So how many of these sunken bones? We've got three. I think we need a few more than that, though. I saw one over this way. Is that one there? Uh, nope. I saw one over this way, I think. I think it was just down here somewhere. I've lost it. Aha! Yes. There it is. I'm expecting the coil or something just to jump out on me at any point. For some reason, this light, when you uh, dig, etc., it's, it's just not that great. There's more fish scales. I'm just going to pass that one up because I'm, I'm after these bones at the minute. And it does take quite a while to... Ah! Uh, I heard a spider. <gasps> it came out the rock, I swear. Okay. Uh, I've managed to hit it. Wow, I actually hit it for quite a lot. Okay. And we go... Okay, so it doesn't attack like the other spiders. And it does like a lunge at you. Okay, but I can actually, because I'm so quick with the fins, go round it and loop round him. Okay, and you can actually back off enough. Oh, that was so much easier. God, he's horrible looking. Look at him. Look at his face. Oh, that's creepy as hell. I don't like him. That gave me three web fiber. Did it not give me any spider chunks? Maybe it's because I'm full. Right, I don't need those mushrooms. Let's drop those out. Oh, that's so annoying. It didn't give me any... It didn't give me a spider part. Well, I'm going to have to kill more of those. Well, now I know they're not as strong as I thought they were originally. I'll probably take on more of them. Oh, there's some raw science as well. Let's pick that up. It's only a hundred. I thought it was... Is that the koi fish? Or is that the end? Okay, that's the way out. That is the way out. Fine. Okay, so there's a tunnel up that way. But, again, oxygen. It's getting a little bit low. So I'm going to head back to the way out. Get some oxygen. And then come back through that way. Because it does look like there is a cave system up that way. But I want to make sure I've got enough oxygen to do that. Okay, another spider. I didn't realise how low my light was. It's seriously low. These spiders are a little bit derpy. They, they don't seem to... Uh... Oh, as I say that, he uh, goes in to, for the attack. Okay. Uh, so he kind of loops round you. And then goes in for like a, a sliding attack. I think I got a perfect block off there. Okay, and... Yes! Yes, perfect block. <gasps> Wait, did that give me more oxygen? That, my oxygen's full. So does killing them give you more oxygen? What the hell? That's so weird. Uh, I'm really full on stuff and, okay, I'm gonna check out my dandelion because I feel like I'm not picking up these spider chunks because I'm so full. But I did just pick up spider venom now, they have hit me before, and they didn't poison me, so I'm worried that they are actually poisonous, which would not be good if they are. Ow! Whoa! Okay! They hit really hard. He almost killed me. He almost killed me in one hit. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Ow! Come on! Oh god, my light's gone. All I can see is him in the darkness. Get me out! Get me out! Oh god. Okay, he's down there. He's I think I think we're far enough away. I think we're far enough away. 
Wow. I did not think they were going to hit for that much. That was mad. That hit me and almost killed me. I suppose my only armor I've got on technically is the Koi like chest plate. So they hit really hard. They almost hit like a wolf spider, really. Like that was really hard. All right, well, that's good to know. And also my torches already ran out. So those torches, they last barely any time whatsoever. So, so far I've picked up five sunken bones, some venom, and some web. What I haven't picked up, which is super annoying, is any of those inset parts that I need. Those, those diving bell spider parts. Alright, it's the next morning and I've just had a quick look at the bone dagger and the bone trident. And I actually now have enough sunken bones. I've also got enough eelgrass, but all I need is those diving bell spider chunks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head out actually to the surface, go and recover, because I'm a little bit low on pretty much everything now, especially my health. So I want to go recover, and then I'm going to head down to the lower end of the pond and see if we can actually kill some of those spiders down that end, where I've got a bit more room and I can actually see what I'm doing, because I'm struggling down in that cave to actually see what I'm doing, especially without my light. So I'm back out on the pond. I've recovered a little bit more. Uh, so I've now got full health, full hunger, etc. And I think my best plan is to stick with the speed strategy. So keep dodging around them and kind of hope that I can get off some blocks and not have them damage me for all my health. I think that's probably still the best strategy at this point. I think from what we know, we know that they hit really hard super hard uh but what we also know is they they attack quite slowly if you can keep your distance away from them all right so there is one here i'm not seeing any more around because i don't want to be attacked by two let's go in let's go try this one let's see if we can actually put this into practice so i think he's swimming around okay we can swim past and attack like that that's my plan to dodge round, go in for attack all right, he healed a bit. Okay, and that's a perfect block. That's good. Yeah, as long as we can get the blocks in on time. Oh, he missed. So his his reach is actually quite far, which is uh, which is good to know. Okay, but sometimes he doesn't go for actually a like jump at you. Yes, diving bell spider chunk. Yes, and it gave me a chunk as well. And every time I seem to kill it, I seem to get oxygen, which means I can stay down here for longer. That's good to know. I wonder if it works for like the time. <gasps> ah! No, no, no. Nope, I just got a new part. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please, please leave me alone. Get out. Oh, oh I really didn't want to get one hit killed then. Oh, I just picked a new chunk and he's there attacking me already. What's this? Oh, wait, are the water fleas now... Are these guys now mean? But they're so pathetic. No way are these guys actually evil. He's not even moving towards me. I, I kind of feel sorry for that. To be honest with you, I definitely don't want this water flea meat. It, it, it literally does nothing for me. But yeah, those water fleas, they're now evil. They, they weren't when they they were first introduced. Uh, but they apparently are. They, yeah. No, why does he keep coming over here? Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head over this way. I'm going to avoid you as much as possible. I don't understand why he's suddenly trying to be my best friend again. Alright, so... He's heading over that way now. I'm thinking he's going to stay over that way. He's just been over this side, so I really, really, really hope he does anyway. I'm going to head down over this way. Basically, as far away from him as possible. Ah, yes, another spider. Right, second time. Let's hopefully get some more parts. Yeah, so for some reason they do like weird like spin round. I don't know what that mechanic is. But uh, it means that you can kind of attack them from behind like that. Oh, oh god, he hit me then. Okay, 
He, so they are quite quick uh, at turning around on you. So I don't really. That's that route. Okay, and I wonder if I can see if this will do a bit more damage to him. Oh god! Oh god! No! Whoa! Whoa! No! 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 Get me out of here! Get me the hell out of here! Right, I'm up here. I'm up here. Oh, I'm out. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God, I'm, I'm out. Oh, that was close. That was really close. Why the hell did he come back over? And my spider. <gasps> Whoa, what, what, what's attacking me? I don't know what's attacking me, but the spider's dead. He killed the spider for me. All right, maybe, maybe he was being nice. Maybe he was trying to be nice. You never know. I uh, assumed he was he was trying to wrong me, trying to kill me, but maybe he was being nice. I I doubt that very much, but maybe. I'll uh I'll take it though. That's our second spider kill. I'm going to claim it. <laughs> and we also definitely need to analyze this as well. So, what I'll do, let me see if we can find one more spider. One more spider to I think that's enough pieces. I think one more is all we need. So yeah, one more piece, because we've got enough for the Bone Dagger or the Bone Trident. Well, as I want to make both. So yeah, one more piece to go. Let's go find that spider. Alright, I found another spider. He was over in all, like, the, the tree roots, which might actually be a bit safer from the koi fish as well. So this might be quite a good place to hunt them in future, because there seems to be quite a few under here. Alright, I've got a second hit off him. Right, I was going to try the spider fang dagger as well, see if I can... Alright, it does a fair amount of damage, but not as much as I'd probably like, to be honest with you. Yes, perfect. It's quite good. I found that you can actually kind of multi-block, I would say. I don't, oh, I don't really know what to call it, but you can kind of semi-spam block with this spear. Where if you kind of touch it three or four times just before they attack, it sort of always blocks. I don't I don't really know if that's a, a bit of a bug or if I'm just kind of using the game's mechanics to my advantage. But yeah, with the spear, which seems to be faster, underwater in particular, you can actually pull off that block quite easily. Now, I think we've actually got enough parts. I think that was the last spider we needed. Alright, we're back at the base. Let's take a look at these new items. So we've got the Bone Dagger and the Bone Trident. Oh, I'm one short of Illgrass. No, where did that my Illgrass go? I swear I had enough. I lost one when I built the Slime Lantern. Alright, I need to go quickly grab an Illgrass and I'll be back in a second. Alright, back to base. So, let's use the workbench. Let's check out these new two new items. So... First, I think what we're going to do is we're going to make the Bone Trident. I think that replaces the like the Stinger Spear that I've currently got. So let's build that one first. And the second one is the Bone Dagger. So let's build that one next. So I feel like... Well, that's the Bone Trident. That is looking really cool. Let's sort out our inventory a second because we need to pick this up. Uh, oh, we've actually got a spot. Why didn't that go in it? All right, let's pick that up. So, in terms of what replaces what, so I'm guessing this Bone Dagger replaces the uh, Peblet Dagger, because we've now got that Bone Dagger on us. And then the Bone Trident should replace the Rotten Stinger Spear. So let's go outside, let's have a look in the light, what these two look at. Wow, okay, so that is the Bone Trident. That looks so cool! It's a, I feel like it's slight. Is it slightly slower? So, Bone Trident's there. Uh, and... Oh no, it's exactly the same speed. See, I thought it was slightly slower. But, it does actually a lot more damage. And, it also has a chance to stun a lot better. So, it is a better item. And now the Bone Dagger. Let's have a look at that. Because it is looking actually pretty good. The speed's quite high, but so is actually the damage. 
The stun rate is exactly the same as the bone trident as well, which is cool. So let's have a look at this bone dagger. Okay, I really like the look of that. I like the handle. Like, I don't know what that is. Is it like two little fangs or something it's meant to be? But yeah, that is really cool. I like the light on it as well. Look how cool that looks. It kind of looks like it's glistening in the sun. I don't. That's clearly not meant to look like that, but that looks sweet. And it's, yeah, it's fast like the spider fang dagger is. Alright, I really like these two new items. Well, I'm super impressed. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly heal up and I'm going to try and take on this koi. Alright, all my stats are currently maxed out. So I've got food, water, all my health is full. And I've got my bone trident in my hot bar. And that's going to be, I think, the thing we use as our main attack. I want to be able to take down this koi. I'm kind of looking for it, but I'm not seeing it. So I really hope I just lost a bit of health. <laughs> but I think it is always a one-hit kill anyway, so I don't think health will do me much good. I've just got to keep dodging him and attacking him. Now, I really hope you can actually kill him. Unlike the bird, I think he's got a health bar, but I don't know. The bird you can't attack, which I was really upset about. But I really hope you can take down this koi. Because he is super dangerous. Every time I'm in the water, I get attacked by him pretty much. Wow, he is a, he is a big boy. I never realised he's got loads of like scratches and stuff all over him. He's definitely been in a fair few fights in his time. But nothing can match me. Let's attack him from behind. Let's do a bit of a sneak attack on him. Oh, okay, I hit him. Uh... Okay, uh, so I, I hit him, but he didn't. A health bar didn't come up. So is he just running away from me? Is that is that how this works? Whoa. Okay, and I'm going in for attack. Okay, so I've hit him. Oh, I don't think he's got a health bar. I don't think we can kill him. Let me try one one more time. Come on. Right. Let's catch him up again. God, he's really quick. Ah. Or is he just running away from us now? Is he just running away? Is that is that the mechanic? If we hit him, he runs away. Okay, I, I'm not catching him. Well, he is well out of reach. Now, the last thing I wanted to do uh, for the episode today was actually check out this new place up here. I don't know if we can get up to it, but I can see that stick there that kind of does rest on it. So I'm hoping we can get on the end there and just walk up. Well, I'm getting something on my uh, little mini map. I don't know. Is that a base? Is that saying a base? That would be cool if there's a base up here. Oh, what is that in there? I can see something. <gasps> it's a lab. There's a lab up here. And an ominent log. Oh, okay. So we just got another log as well. So there's a new base. Oh, and there is some raw science. Let me uh, see if I can run and jump and get that. Yeah, there we go. Unless if there's a base on top that I'm missing, this is then all of the update explored, which is really exciting. There is some spider webs in here. I'm worried that at some point there's going to be spiders spawning in here, which I really wouldn't like, but I don't see any point to really be back here much. But it gives us an analyzer pretty close to our base. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything in my inventory. I need to go kill one of those spiders so we can analyse the part again. But anyway, I think that is the whole update now, guys. I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with this update. It's uh, one of the biggest updates that they've added to the game. And I think it's added loads to the game. I think it gives it a totally another aspect. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode today. I'm really disappointed we didn't get to take our revenge out on that koi fish. But hopefully they add that in as future updates come out. But I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.